friends in Christ, welcome to Tuesday of the 32nd week in the ordinary time, year two. Following Jesus is a matter of personal decision and commitment to join forces with others for good. We are called to stand up and be counted for Christ. From our little homes and communities, there are those who look to us for different reasons as their models. What a model are you to them? In our first reading today, taken from the letter of St. Paul to Titus, chapter 2, verses 1 to 8, and verses 11 to 14, Paul encourages Titus to teach his community to live good and holy lives in a manner acceptable to Christ and the civic society. He opens the passage with, teach what befits sound doctrine. Be the older men, be temperate, serious, sensible, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Be the older women, likewise, to be reverent in behavior, not to be slanderers or slaves to drink, they are to teach what is good. Paul is not only instructing Titus, but through him, the entire community, the older generation, owe a duty to God to lead the younger generation aright by teaching them what is sound. Wherever you find a child that is badly dressed, that child came out of a home, and most likely the parents bought that dress. If you see a young man who is lazy at work, check what sort of home training he had. If a young woman cannot cook well or take good care of the home, question the parental upbringing. Paul tells us that God has manifested his goodness to all people. Our response to God in faith must be a life that is lived in loving imitation of Jesus and the Holy Family. How do you raise your daughter to be submissive to be husband? Be are disrespectful to your husband in the presence of your daughter? How do you tell your son to treat the wife with care and respect if you are always beating the mother in his presence? If you are a true follower of Christ, it is your duty to live such a good life that will make it difficult for people to question your faith. Paul says, show yourself in all respects a model of good deeds, and in your teaching, show integrity, gravity, and sound speech that cannot be censured so that an opponent may be put to shame having nothing evil to say of us. Jesus gave his life totally for our salvation and in the process created a community that should be the paragon of holiness and civic living. The life of Jesus and the complete surrender of the self for our sake calls us too to make the sacrifice. His own sacrifice is the model of our sacrifice too. Our response to his love is to learn to give ourselves for the sake of all, beginning from our hopes. Let us pray. Lord, help our older folks to live well and to hand on the faith by the practice of their own lives for the good of the coming generations. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.